All right, now let's see how we can create a point class in Python. So we start with the class keyword, then we give our class a name like point. Note that here I'm using Pascal naming convention, which is different from the naming convention that we use for naming our variables and functions. To name our variables and functions, we use all lowercase letters and we separate multiple words using an underscore. But to name our classes, we use a different convention, which is called Pascal naming convention. And basically it says that the first letter of every word should be uppercase and we shouldn't use an underscore to separate multiple words. Here's an example. We can call this class my point. You can see that the first letter of every word is uppercase and there is no underscore here. Okay, so let's change this back to point. After this, we add a colon to indicate a block. In this block, we'll define all the functions related to points. For example, we can define functions for drawing a point, for moving this point to a new location, or getting the distance from this point and another point. Here's an example. We define a function called draw, parenthesis. Now, all functions in our classes should have at least one parameter, and by convention, we call that parameter self. You will see what this is in a minute, so bear with me. Now, we add our colon, and let's just print the word draw on the terminal. So now we have a class or a blueprint for creating point objects. Every point object that we create will have this draw method. Let's take a look. So to create a point object, we call this class like a function. There you go. Now this returns a point object that we can assign to a variable like point. So if we use the dot operator, you can see we have the draw method as well as a bunch of other methods that we didn't define. But our point object got these methods from another object in Python through a mechanism called inheritance. We'll look at that later in this section. Now, if we print type of point, now let's run this and see what we get. We get a class of main.point. This main you see here is the name of our module, and we're gonna look at that later in this section. So this is the type function that you have seen before. We have another useful function called is instance. Sometimes we have an object and we wanna know if this object is an instance of a given class. So let's see if this point object is an instance of the point class. Now let's print the result on the terminal and run our program. So obviously this point object is an instance of our point class. However, if we change this to int, obviously our point object is not an instance of the int class. So when we run this program, we get false. So this is how we create custom classes in Python. So far, so good. But our point objects need some initial values like x and y. To set these values, we need a constructor, and that's the topic for the next lecture.